Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I show the game played by Robert and Casper. And the game starts with the pawn to e4, c5, then knight to c3, e6, knight f3, then a6. And now the white play a d4 and c takes d4. After this, the knight just captured the pawn. Knight takes d4 and b5. And in this position, you can see that the white is better because white keep develop and push the knight towards the center, while the black only push the pawn. Forwards. And with this, the white will have more active to play in the center of the game. And the game continues with the bishop to d3, bishop to b7. Then the white go for a short castling, and now knight to c6. And after this, knight capture the knight, then bishop capture the knight. And here, the white continue to develop with another bishop to e3 and here the knight to f6 and after this the white develop f3 to defend the pawn from being attacked by the black and now bishop to e7 prepare for the short castling and here is the first 10 move and you can see that Nothing much happened in the center of the board and the white still set it better in this position. And the game continued with the queen to d2, preparing to attack the knight or even you can attack the pawn at h6. And now the black go for short castling and the white continue to play knight to e2 and try to divert the knight to the king's side and here the black push d5 and the white do not want to exchange instead and push the e5 to attack the knight then the knight to d7 and now the white push f4 to protect the pawn and now knight to c5 then the white continue to play a uh, knight to d4 and here the white trying to put the pieces in the knight into the center and to have a piece play and here the white the knight will have a very strong attack in the center and also able to attack the bishop and white has a good play to play after this and he also can push the pawn forward and after the pawn capture, the knight will just capture back. And then the knight will attack the square at g7. And after this, queen c7 was played. And here is the first 15 move. And you can see that the white is in the better position. And after this, the rook play to f3. And here, the rook can come to g3 and attack the pawn, or you can come to h3 attack the pawn at h7. After this, knight to e4 was played, and now the knight is attacking the queen. Therefore, the queen just moved away to e2, and after this, the black bring the bishop to c5 attacking the knight and after the white just protect with the pawn and here the bishop back to d7 then the rook start to maneuver and try to attack with the h5 and go to h3 and here the black push up the pawn and then the, now the queen goes to g4 and we try to go to 
h4 and attack the pawn with the simple check made. So queen g4 was played and now the black just played a b4 and here the white become better. So after this position, queen h4 was played and trying to capture the pawn and have a very simple check made. And at this position, the black play h5 to prevent being captured. And now the white just capture the knight and the rook can go to g3 and pinning the king. And this pawn will be easily to be taken away. So bishop just take the knight and the d take the bishop. And now rook to g3. And now pinning the king and now the queen is preparing to capture the pawn. And in this actual game, the black play queen to d8 and trying to go for the action. But in this position, the white just captured the pawn and win a pawn in the action. And now after this, the king to g7 and here. After this position, the white is winning and made in 11 move. And the strong move will be f5 to attack the pawn. After a series of attack, the white is winning in the game. So f5 was played and this is a very strong move and now the pawn cannot be captured. And here, after this move, the rook move to h shape to attack the queen and this is another mistake from the black as now the white can just capture the pawn and check the king and if you move the king to f8 then the queen can just capture the rook and check the king and now if the king move to E7 and you have a very beautiful pawn checkmate at f6 and check the king and the queen is controlled the back rank square and the king has no place to move in the game. So after this position in the actual game the white play f6 and check the king and now the king cannot capture the pawn and the king moved to h to g8 in the actual game and after this come with the beautiful check mate and mate in five i give you a couple of seconds to figure out how the continuation of the white to play and check mate in five well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the beautiful move that the white play the white continue to play rook takes g6 and check the king and with this the black resign the game after move 27 and if you want to continue the game now if the king move to f8 then the queen will just capture the rook at h8 and you have a back rank checkmate and if you use the pawn to capture then you will have a queen capture the g6 and check the king and now again the king don't have anything to block the check and the enemy is to move to king f8 and then now the knight can capture the pawn and check the king and also can win the queen and after knight capture the e6 pawn then if your bishop capture and now you have bishop to take the bishop and check the king and the queen is control all the square for the king to move so after bishop capture then you have queen to e7 to defense and with this you use the bishop 
to take the queen and it will be a checkmate and this the queen is controlled all the square and the bishop is checked the king and you also can use the pawn to capture and make the king and here you have a very interesting checkmate and the king are not able to move to any of the square and with this thank you